What is going on guys? Hopefully you guys are having a good start to your weekend and um, this is going to be the beginning of a series that I'm going to be doing consistently, hopefully one to two times per week and I want you guys to hold me to that but um, just going to be something that I can talk to you guys a little bit more freely um, during or a series I can talk to you a little bit more freely during and I'm going to do a lot more just tutorial style videos if you will on things that I would like to know when I was a teen bodybuilder. So I know a lot of you guys are younger, either whether you're a bodybuilder, power lifter, a lot of you guys are younger in the training age that you're at specifically. So meaning you haven't been training for that many years. So basically what I want to do with this series is almost give you guys some insight into what I wish I would have known if I was younger, 16 again, 17, what I would like to know about lifting, nutrition, terminology, um, I got a whole bunch of different list of things that I want to kind of talk to you guys about and tell you about and just really give you more insight on and um, hopefully help you out and give you some guidance. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is going to be talking about a push workout that I did from this week. So I'm going to actually show you guys the clips, hopefully do like a picture in picture sort of thing so you're not too bored with it. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys you enjoy it. I'm gonna talk about specific movements, what I'm thinking about in the movements. And if you guys have any questions, if you guys have comments, I really wanna make this series more something that helps you guys out and something you guys can look forward to um, coming to watch on my channel. So definitely leave comments below if you have them. I'll be answering every single one of them. And um, if you guys have any topics that you would like me to talk about or specific things, I can definitely do that. But kind of getting into things today, I, like I said, I want to talk about my push workout that I did this week and just give you guys a little bit more info on that and what, what I'm kind of going through during my push workout or during um, my workouts in general. So as you guys can see, I started out with um, a push up and um, you can either do a normal push up with this or I like to do um, clapping push ups or sometimes I'll add a med ball in or something like that. But I really enjoy starting out with a bodyweight movement like this before I move on to my heavy dumbbell press or heavy bench press just to get the, the muscle fibers activated that I'm going to be using and specifically the muscle groups that I'm going to be using. So doing some explosive push-ups like that, um, some clapping push-ups definitely gets my chest and my, um, uh, my fast twitch muscle fibers going so that I'm able to press um, the weight up and feel like I'm ready to go. So that's kind of my theory there and kind of why I like doing that and I'm never going to be someone who you're going to see not doing those body weight movements because personally I like to be athletic, I like to be able to move um, my body weight around, do pull ups, do that sort of thing. Um, so that's something you'll always see me doing. But um, anyways guys, the next movement, like I said, we moved on to a flat dumbbell bench. I haven't been doing very much flat benching at all lately, so hitting 80s for three sets of I believe like 8 to 10 reps was definitely something I was satisfied with, with really solid form too. Um, one thing I want you guys to recommend or one thing I want to recommend you guys is that using weight that you feel you're actually engaging the specific muscle group you're trying to target is going to be the utmost importance. So especially if you guys aren't familiar with form, if you're not really dialed into um, a specific program or if you're not specifically dialed into specific percentages that you have to hit during every workout, just focus on executing each movement properly. Um, that's a huge thing that I think a lot of people don't really they just kind of brush over and it's really just getting each movement that you do um, down pat to a T. Um, and, and that's something I would really recommend. So um, anyways, just kind of missed the clip there, but it's basically just a single arm shoulder press. So I like to do single arm just to kind of work in some unilateral work and doing them standing. I like to do that a lot more just because it incorporates my glutes and my core a little bit more, forcing me to really squeeze squeeze my glutes to help give me, give me a good foundation. Um, but yeah. So um, moved on after that, I believe I did 8 reps, 8 to 10 reps on the single arm shoulder press as well for 3 sets and then, um, then we moved on to incline dumbbell press. So since I didn't do my incline like I normally would at the beginning of my push workout, I ended up going to incline during the end of the workout, did a little bit lighter weight, I believe I only did 3 sets of 12 reps with like 50 pounds and just really focused on that inner and upper chest. So just really once again focusing on the execution of each lift. So. I finished off the workout with a hex press then, a flat hex press, and um, didn't add a pec flying or anything like that, just a straight hex press, and I did that for about 12 to 15 reps with, I believe, 35 pounds. So not too intense there, not too crazy, um, but just kind of want to get some blood flow in and really focus on the inner chest of mine, which is definitely improving, as you guys are seeing a little bit of posing here, definitely improving, and my upper chest is coming along, um, but currently right now I'm weighing about 150 to 150 pounds, I'm 21 years old if you guys are unfamiliar with the channel, 
And um, yeah, I'm really kind of just focusing on trying to add as much lean mass as I possibly can. I'm naturally a leaner guy, so being able to put on that lean mass is a little bit easier for me. Um, and it's almost more difficult for me to put on the mass in general than it would be for me to just go binge and get real fat or add a ton of body fat on. So um, I'm blessed genetically there and my metabolism definitely helps me out. But um, being also a personal trainer, I'm on my feet quite a bit throughout the day. That's what I do um, full time. And then besides that, I'm working out or pretty much doing something active throughout the day. So that definitely helps me keep a lower body fat. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I don't want to make these too long. I just want to make them quick videos that you can kind of take something from. Hopefully um, you enjoy. And um, yeah, if you want to try the workout out, if you guys want me to leave the workout fully listed in the description, I can definitely do that. Um, otherwise, it's definitely um, all the workouts that I'm going to be talking about on here are going to be on my Instagram before they come on here. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Joe underscore Anklum. Um, and just follow me there and that will give you a little bit more insight and a lot more content um, as far as workouts and that sort of thing because um, I do post on there every single day multiple times a day. So anyways, I'll let you guys get to your weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll be talking to you very soon. Peace out guys.